Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video we're going to talk about how to undo bank reconciliation in QuickBooks Online uh, account and QBOA, QBOA version. Uh, if you have regular uh, uh, plans like uh, Simple Star, Essentials, uh, or Plus plan, you can't uh, undo bank reconciliation. But uh, personally, if you have uh, accountant version uh, you can do it so let's see uh, how to do it so right now I'm uh, I'm logged in as uh, accountant and this is uh, clients home page uh, so client home this is your client home page so in order to undo you have you can do it uh, uh, from here accountant home just go to accountant home it will take you to uh, your clients uh, home page clients plan so accountant home so this this is your accountant uh, home page for your clients so it'll give you uh, your reconciliation status right here or you can just go to uh, company gear right here click here and just click the rec reconcile button this is your regular way to uh, start your reconciliation reconcile button so click this and select uh, your bank account that you want to undo for your client. Let's say this is Chase checking account, at least right here. This is one way. The other way is to get there. Let's say you want to go to home here again. So the, the other way is to, from the accountant homepage, just go to accountant home, and you have reconciliation status right here in front of you. Uh, the screen may look something different depending upon which version, account version you have there, changing a lot. So in this case, the reconciliation status is up front here, account and home. So all this have to do is uh, select your checking account right here. This is the one we want to undo. Right here, click it. So it will take you to the same place, either from, plus, uh, from your company gear, reconcile, or directly from uh, your accountant, accountant homepage for your client. So it takes you the same place. I like this one better. This one works the same way. It takes the same place. So click it here. Okay. So right now there's an undo button. All you have to do is let's say you want to undo this month. As you can see here, just move around your your your, your mouse here. See right here, undo. It's it's on the right side here. Right here, undo. So if you do it, if you if it is here, you don't see undo. There's no place to look undo. But if you hover around the statement date, you want to undo it. It's right here. So click that one. All right. So they give you uh, undo reconciliation warning. Hey, do you want to do it? Just say yes or no. Just say yes in this case. Very simple. Okay. So now said you know success. It's another screen. Just click OK. It's gone. It's done. So that's it. Once it's done, then uh, you can't uh, uh, you can't do anything now. It's gone. So so that's then you start your consolation all over again. That's about it. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye. And also, uh, if you if you don't have accountant version and you're trying to figure out where how do I log into this accountant version, so all you have to do is go to. Uh, qboa.intu.com the uh, the website looks like this right here the screen looks like this so you just have to sign in as qboa.intu.com and, and somehow it will take you there if, if you want you can just copy this one here it's right here Here's the URL address, and the screen will look like this. And it'll say, I'm a new Intu user. The best part is to sign up. If the plan is free, it's free. So the price is right. So just sign up now, it's free. QuickBooks Online Accountant. And here's the URL address here. If you want to uh, try it, right here. I'll just leave this for a couple of more seconds so you can copy it or write it down.
or you can just go from qboa.intute.com and uh, it will take you to this place if you want to sign up for QuickBooks Online accounting. Thank you again. Bye.